This is Brad Clayton with the March 2016 Puzzle Duck Golf Thought of the Month. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm here at beautiful Mount Vernon right outside of DC. That's George Washington's home up on the, uh, the hill there. Over to my right, your left, is the Potomac River. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous up here. If you've never been here, it's definitely worth a trip to uh, get some history and some scenery and uh, just absolutely beautiful. I brought my children here way back ago in the day uh, and also came here as a child myself. So uh, uh, nice fond memories of, of Mount Vernon. Uh, we came up this weekend for the uh, SMGA Summit, had great times there with Jim Estes and, and Jamie. And I uh, just want to thank them for uh, what we are able to do in helping our veterans and thanking the veterans, obviously, uh, as well. So we're going to talk very quickly about uh, our uh, thought of the month, which is very simple. And you can find anything to actually help you. It happens to be kind of a rainy day today, so I have an umbrella. And I'm out here and understanding what your shoulders do. We'll talk about putting basically right now. You can simply take your uh, a stick, uh, anything straight. Uh, it could be a golf club, obviously, an umbrella. Put it under your arms. Get your putter in your hand, which I don't have here. I would get some strange looks with a putter up here, I guess. Uh, get your normal grip, your setup, and make some strokes with this object under your arms. It's going to help you do several things. Number one is going to help you move as a unit, your arms and your shoulders, with your back, and not just your wrists and hands or, or wrists and arms, but will give you some some stability. It will also, or a feel for stability, it will also give you an idea of where your shoulders are working. We don't want to see too much of this going on. You can see my head moving forward if I turn this way. If I get a whole lot of back and forth, my head's moving forward, and that's obviously not a good thing for putting. So we're going to try to keep this uh, object under our arms moving relatively straight. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but what we don't want to see is this back end going out. We want to feel it working a little bit more up and down so that you can get a sense for moving your arms and shoulders on a, not a straight line, but a relatively straight line. There's a slight arc in there because we are standing on the side of the golf ball. But it's a great way to feel the motion of a stroke and a, a d d direction and how your, absolute, your, your upper body works. So you don't have a lot of out and in, but more an up and down motion with the tool or the shaft or the golf club or whatever you have under your arms. Good little thing to do. You can also put your head up against the wall, which we did fall the month several months ago about that. A uh, very good thing to do to, to help you get a feel for how stable you should feel uh, with your head, lack of motion, and how your arms work back and through. So one, two, and hold. One, two, and hold. We don't want to see the shaft or the club or the umbrella or whatever you have under your arms moving out and in a lot. Hope this uh, helps you get a feeling for that motion. I'm sure it will. If you take a little time to do it, if you have any questions, please email me at puzzle.golf at gmail.com. Also remember the book is available. You can get that through the website, uh, puzzle.golf.org or .com. That's actually getting updated and have a new one coming out here pretty soon. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about seeing what that looks like. Thank you very much for your time. Suggestions are always welcome. Also send those in anytime. I will be looking forward to seeing you in the April Puzzle Duck Golf Thought of the Month after the Masters, which I'm also very much looking forward to.